case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1994, the Supreme Court of the United States was embroiled in the multifaceted case, McDermott, Inc. v. M. Clyde. Central to the controversy was an enduring question in complicated legal tussles. In cases with multiple defendants, how should each party's share of financial responsibility be determined? And how should that impact settlements? The roots of the dispute could be traced to a construction accident on a Gulf of Mexico oil rig. In the aftermath, McDermott, Inc., the plaintiff, engaged in a multi-pronged legal battle with several defendants. McDermott, Inc. managed to seal a settlement worth $1 million with three defendants before the trial, but the thorny issue remained unresolved with the two others, Am Clyde and River Don Castings Limited. At trial, the jury calculated McDermott, Inc.'s damages at $2.1 million, apportioning fault at 32% for Am Clyde and 38% for River Don. However, the judgment was riddled with an error by the lower court, which incorrectly credited the settlement amount to Amclyde and River Don. This misstep posed significant repercussions for the ongoing financial divisions within the case. Upon reaching the Supreme Court, the honorable judges reversed the flawed decision and emphasized the importance of the proportionate rule. In their view, each litigating defendant must bear only its share of the financial burden, a stance that encourages settlements and streamlines litigation. This pivotal ruling effectively overturned the decision of the Court of Appeals, remanding the case for further legal proceedings in line with the proportionate rule. Thus, the Supreme Court decision in McDermott, Inc. v. M. Clyde avowed the principle of proportional fault, setting the stage for future cases with multiple defendants and reshaping the way financial responsibility would be determined in American legal landscapes. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of climbing.